Hello and welcome back to another week of Octo Reacts featuring none other than the disgruntled octopus himself. Hello. This week we're slithering our tentacles across to Johnny from Gotta Sell Them All Australia. So basically Johnny inadvertently declared war on all octopus kind uh, by stating that he enjoys selling Funko Pops and he believes that there's still a market for Funko Pops. So yeah, pick them up if you can. I'm not going to lie. I've watched the video previously. I watched a little bit this morning. Um, so... I'm going to give the verdict right now. Johnny gets the you know, the thumbs up of approval, the tentacle of approval. Uh, so basically, I, I genuinely hope to see a lot more from Johnny on, on YouTube because he's quite uh, quite a natural, to say the least. Yeah, he's doing a lot better than me. I've probably punched out 100 videos by now, and <laughs> he's punched out three, um, and he's wiping the floor with the octopus. So that's another thing I've got against him. Um, on a side note, though, Johnny, um, and anyone else that out there that I do a reaction video on, let me know, let the octopus know who you are in the first 30 seconds of your video, because otherwise I'm going to have to give you like a traditional octopus name, like Eaglebert, Humperdinck, or Henry, or Chris Furlong. Yeah, you don't want to be having any of those names floating around. Uh, but without further ado, we'll slither into to Johnny's video now and have a bit of a squeeze the past judgment oh. g'day everyone welcome to the video uh we hit up a few savers today and a few up shops on the way and we also hit up a cash converters where we hit big time so stay tuned for that and enjoy the video <laughs> he's already wiping the floor with my editing skills <laughs> i can't i can't even do that look look, look. yeah so oh, oh there we go oh, look at me go we're on we're on par now johnny don't 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 uh, try to outdo me ever again. Yeah, well, how are you? Yeah, just that DS there, if that's all right. Thank you, cheers. So I don't know if we, we caught it there, but I'm just going to zoom in for a little bit. Look at my editing skills go. Um, I can't really see. He looks like he's got his thumb, I think, <laughs> from his other hand on the on the controller. But I'm 99.9% .9 sure that that's a new Nintendo... 3ds uh, i can tell by the little slider on the right of the screen it's not a 2ds um this one looks like the model that actually has removable face plates so these tend to go a little bit better than their traditional new 3ds um and even more so if it's an xl i can't tell if it's an xl from this side of this angle um yeah so basically what makes these ones special is they have the removable plates that you can i suppose personalize with mario kirby pikachu and all those different things so they're more sought after on the aftermarket We'll go back to his video. We've got to make sure that I'm center stage because, you know, it's all about me. Didn't turn on. If it doesn't turn on, it's because there's no charger there, right? Like these consoles, you know, with with the exception if it's ballooning at the back, which means the batteries have probably exploded or, you know, on its way out. Um, if it looks normal, you know, there's no ballooning on the back, there's no water damage, all those different things, you would just take the gamble off. All right, I'm going to have a look at here. I, I, I need a squeeze. I need to, I need to have a look. What have we got? So I can see Metroid. Is it Metroid? They're definitely Metroid on the way. I can't work it out. I don't, I'm not a Metroid fan. Uh, some Goofy. Um, looks like, I don't know, is that Mickey Mouse? I'm not too sure. But there's nothing in there that really tickles my tentacles. So, you know, if you're watching Johnny, let me know what was in the basket because I really don't know what the good stuff is. <laughs> Back to me again. All right, let's go, Johnny. And I don't know if you saw that guy's basket, but he has beaten me to all the good, good stuff. He had like Pokemon, Alpha, Sapphire. Uh, that, that explains basket. it. He's left it in mind. Doesn't look like it. Okay, maybe. Five bucks. Six games. Okay. You need to be careful with uh, Wii discs and original uh, PlayStation 2 discs and also original Xbox discs uh, because they're, they're traditional DVDs, right? So they will scratch like nothing else. This Labyrinth board game. Uh, Labyrinth, yeah, this looks like the original version. There, there's so many versions of Labyrinth. <laughs> I think I've got like six in my cupboard. Uh, I, I kind of agree with what uh, Grumpy Granny was having a go at me the other day is that unless it's a high-end, 
I suppose, design a board game, for example, or very, very, very rare in the grand scheme of things. Uh, this one could possibly be, I, I haven't checked the price before, but leave board games, leave jigsaw puzzles alone, uh, unless that you personally enjoy playing them, you know, like if it's only a couple of dollars and you play it, you know, if that's you right up your alley, you play it, confirm all the pieces are there, and then you sell it from there, or you do the puzzle and you go from there. But as a as a time suck, you, and definitely let, you know, use Lego sets as well, I don't condone that. So just just be mindful of the, you know, if, unless you enjoy it, yeah, you know, it's a bit tedious and it'll probably sit in your death pile for, the, for eternity. <laughs> It's very old. Five bucks. Take it. It's a very old one. It's a general rule of thumb, contrary to what I was normally saying. When he opened it up there, when I when I have a squiz in there, if I can see the instructions, um, that to me, yeah, you know, this is not you know law written anywhere. In, in, <laughs> don't take it to the don't take it to the bank. If I see the instructions, and then there's a good chance it's complete. I'm going to a toy fair in a couple of weeks, so. That might be a good one to start there. We'll just have to check if that's all complete. Just a regular one. What is this? These are masks. Bomberman masks. <laughs> kind of need to get these. 1998. 1998. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'd probably, I'd probably get those because yeah, it's quite hard for an eight foot handsome octopus such as myself to slither outside and not be noticed. So, I'm all for for wearing masks. Um, definitely, if it's got an IP attached to it, especially Nintendo, which Bomberman is traditionally um, aligned with Nintendo, I suppose. I know he's on other platforms, but yeah, if you look at it, Nintendo is generally associated with that. And yeah, you know, fun fact: uh, Bomberman's actually called Rockman in Asia. Have a So what Johnny's done here is actually typed the title in. Don't, you know, and I'm probably going to have a, a legion of resellers chasing me down over this. Use your barcode scanner very sparingly. Uh, Damn, if you can find those later seasons, though. $340. I know this queen pop actually went for good money. Especially when she died. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's have a sauce on these. If they're out of box, just walk past, you know, <laughs> like the out of box pops, uh, from speaking to people in the collector groups. And this is another thing. If you are looking to get into certain niches, such as Funko Pops, uh, anime, manga, all those different things, join collector groups on Facebook, yeah, Reddit and all these different things. And then if it's out of box, the easiest way to do a bit of a quick authentication check would be look at the feed. It'll have like Funko LLC and whatever year it's been manufactured. Um, the Queen, I'm not too sure about this Funko Pop, but she's got a lot that's actually featuring her Corgi. So there's a good chance that she could be missing pieces as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're having a three-way conversation here. I haven't found anything yet, so we'll see. <laughs> Mega Box SpongeBob. What in the world? <laughs> This is hilarious. So I haven't done a comp on this, but I will give you my two cents worth. So Lego did have the Lego SpongeBob a while back, probably at 15, 10, 15 years ago, they did have a line for SpongeBob, um, which to me would make this, you know, this package mega blocks uh, virtually worthless. Uh, in, in in the Lego world, it's the like the AliExpress version of Lego. It's, it's it's crap. Um, so because Lego's already had the the license for SpongeBob, I dare say this one wouldn't go for much unless there's any specific characters that are fan favorites that people might specifically want. Um, but Patrick, you know, SpongeBob, uh, I can't see who else is in there. But, yeah, generally, theoretically, they've already been made in Lego and it wouldn't go for much. So I'd leave that. Never seen that in my life. We are getting that for 10 bucks. We'll take that. No. I'll do a comp after and have a look. Shrek. He's like Shrek 3D Tarzos? What in the world? Woolworths. I do not recall these coming out. It's another thing that you lose. Um, leave that behind. The simple fact is it's Woolworths. It's Shrek is not really a popular IP with a Nintendo game there. Oh, a couple. Ooh. This Brooke has been here since December. Four fifty. Holy jeez, this is actually 
So you might see the label on the bottom right. So that, that's a either New York Comic Con or a San Diego Comic Con uh, exclusive sticker. There's a good chance the reason why this is so expensive for us, it's probably limited to a thousand pieces. You can only get it in in person at that event, right? Um, there's a good chance that this particular character came out um, at EB Games in the very same, very, probably the, ex, the exact same pose, the exact same. Uh, pop with just a different sticker, right? So this is what I had to go about Jamie's video last week is that don't buy ones that are just generally stickered. Um, if it's got exclusives on it, different things, because you, you've got two different markets with Funko Pops, right? You've just got people that collect them for their, for their desks or for collect them because they collect the series, like this is one piece. Um, and you've also got what's referred to in the in the business as sticker hose. So basically they go after the stickers. So like it, it could be the exact same pop, but just one sticker says it's limited to 250 and the other sticker, which is uh, says it's you know free range or just wildly available, they'll probably pay four or five hundred dollars just for that little sticker. And you need to be careful of sticker swaps as well. So people will basically uh, remove uh, that sticker. Um, put the limited edition sticker on or a counterfeit. So you need to make sure that that's another thing you need to take into consideration. I know Johnny talks about uh, Funko Pops and how to authenticate them a little bit later. And I'll also add what I know onto that as well. So you're pretty expensive pop now. I'm going to take a closer look at this and see what... If, if I can get it for like 200, I'll actually take a punt with that. Can I just take a closer look at the pop vinyl if that's it? Stick like to look at it. All right, we'll see if we can zoom in and see what the sticker's going on. I can't see it. It's for, it looks like it's a um, New York Comic Con or Emerald City. I, I can't make it out. So, Johnny, if you're watching, let me know, mate. I can't work it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That might be a bit of angle there. Here we go. Uh, it's full convention exclusive. So it's not even a limited piece. So there's a good chance that this probably this pop may have came out. Um, no, I almost got the number there. I can't read it. <laughs> Enhance, maybe 2010, which probably explains why it goes for so much money. Uh, because just by, by virtue that Funko really ramped up uh, around about the 2000, 2016 point uh, mass production and all those different things and definitely 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 crazy around the the covid periods so the older pops like this will go for considerably enough more money uh, but like i said i'd be very 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 cautious of those different things you need to look out for Boop. there we go i'm back oh oh there we go so like a fake one thirty dollars yeah yeah <laughs> thirty dollars yeah Oh, StockX, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you like StockX, I yeah. I didn't even know they start, so oh, pops so on StockX, yeah. I'll buy shoes, Yeah, I thought something. it was mostly shoes. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, I had no idea that StockX did that. Yeah. I'd be like 150, that's probably... Yeah, yeah. sorry? I'd probably be at like 150, I'll like half of it. <laughs> what is the... When they bought this, this pop out of the collection, I dare say they probably paid 15, 20 bucks. The best price you could do on it, though. Like one? Go to 80. Because, yeah, yeah. Price, quite expensive. Maybe double yeah. the yeah. Price. yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That's all right. Yeah, I'll probably leave it then. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably just be at 200. It's probably my max I'd pay for it. Yeah. So yeah, that's all right. Thank you though. Yeah. Appreciate. What, what I do appreciate here is the way that Johnny handles himself. You know, the lady's just doing a job right. So I have watched other reselling videos where people get quite aggressive, especially at uh, like porn stores, like you know, cash converters and all these different things. Is that this lady's just doing a job? We find out later that she's just recently started, so she's trying to make a good impression. But he's handled himself with poise and um, you know, with a little bit of uh, dignity. <laughs> so it's good. He gets a seal of approval from there. So the octopus forgives his past transgressions. Okay, that. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Two twenty is the last price. Two twenty is last. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 220. Just uh, 20? Yeah. So long story short, he bought it for 220. The boss said, okay, he went and did it. So we'll just want to go a little bit further. Uh, slither, slither, slither. Oop, we went that far off anyway. So um, we've had enough looking at cash converters. That she couldn't give me a better price than $280. And I was sure that I'd get a better price if I spoke to someone else. And what I got from her talking to me for a short period of time is that she was new to the business 
and she probably wants to make a good impression and not take low offers. Massive purchase, $220 on a single pop vinyl. This is a big grail item. Okay, I'm pretty sure he goes now how to tell authenticate them. So basically, from my understanding, from ones I do, I definitely deal in Funko Pops very, 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 very less compared to what I used to do. So what I normally used to look at is that I personally would purchase them from the you know a reputable dealer. Um, so either directly Funko themselves before I got banned, <laughs> um, or alternatively something like Pop Culture or something along lines of that. Some some of them actually got distribution rights for pop, you know, final pops. Those different places, um, or if you're looking at buying the high end ones. Do your appropriate research. So if I was um, Johnny in this situation, he he definitely knows what he's looking for. Um, I would take photos, yeah, you know, of every angle of that box, yeah, you know, front, side, box, top, bottom, and all those different things, and put them in a um, a Funko Pop authentication group. So basically, just to get them the the okay, because these people, you know, that they um, they're fantastic. I've never been steered wrong from there, and you normally get like six or seven people straight away that give you the yay or nay, and they actually tell you what to look for as well. So, all right, I want to talk about this pop sale that I picked up the other day. I paid a total of 220 bucks for this um, and I got it, it used to be that price and I got them down to $220. This was sitting in there since December. So the way you can tell is at the bottom of the tag it says 1612. That means they put it out on the 16th of the 12th of December. Uh, that's, a, that's a very good tip. I didn't know that. I've, I've... That's a good thing to be looking out for at Cash Converters if you are ever shopping there because that's when you can actually bargain them down quite a bit. That's probably why I got $80 off this pop vinyl because it was sitting there since December. He did sell it in a couple of days, which, you know, kudos to him um, because he knows exactly what he's doing. So be very, very, very mindful. Uh, if you don't, don't touch it. Vinyls is that there is a lot of fakes out there, especially with the high dollar ones. I had to do a bit of research to make sure this was genuine. Um, there are a lot of telltale signs that a pop is fake, but they are actually making them um, really good fakes now. Go into pop vinyls being faked, and it's just about doing that research. Now, I sold this for $550 in about three days of having it on eBay. I didn't take a best offer, I didn't have promoted listings, I just listed it as is, took really good photos, and just sold like that. So, I netted around $220 for this pop vinyl, and that's pretty much what I paid to get it. People, So $220 over the course of three days is a fantastic return on investment, right? You, can't, <laughs> you won't get that through a bank. But, you know, like, like Johnny said, is that you need to do your research. You can't just go into cash converters and think, well, they've done their research for all those different things. But how he sent this off, because I, you know, he didn't show it in the video, but anything over $100 for a Funko Pop, I send it off in a hard stack, which is a hard plastic casing um if you want yeah put it in the comment section below and i'll show you how to do some photos and how i pack off the funko pops i've sold a lot of funko pops and i've never had one complaint about the packaging so like i said i can see you know show you from pretty much from uh you know like your cheap ten dollar pops plus post all the way up to a thousand dollar pops what i sold previously so anything over 100 goes in a hard stack which costs you know, probably about 10 bucks yeah you need to take that into consideration your price over 50 dollars i put it in a soft protector which this one currently is I have to show you that there is opportunity everywhere um, and this was a great sale. So 550 bucks for a pop vinyl, which is pretty insane. Um, very popular character as well. You're not always going to get a sale like this with pop vinyls, but it's something to look out for. And yeah, pop vinyls are still in demand. That's the point. That's I, I disagree 150,000 percent with that point. Yeah, Johnny. Yeah, we did we did go off rails a little bit early with his um, his trading cards and his Shrek cards, but. Yeah, he did redeem himself, but I can't stress enough. Funko Pops are the new Beanie Babies. Like, yeah, if I'm wrong, yeah, so be it. But, you know, the worst case scenario is I'll save you money. Um, I know a lot of staunch Funko collectors across here in America and in Europe as well. They are liquidating their their collections. And I talk about, you know, talk, two years ago, these people couldn't get enough of Funko Pop. Um so basically be very 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 mindful i have no problems with you doing your research and you know picking up like brock for example and flipping it two days later for yeah a couple of hundred dollars profit but do not you know do not invest your money into funko pop obviously but really good sale on this one 
Good video, Johnny, uh, other than the last sentence. Uh, <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Um, if you've got anyone else in mind that I should do a reaction video, please let me know in the, in the description field below. Uh, I will be doing a uh, reaction video on Grams and Pops Vintage next week. Uh, so basically, long story short, they bought $1,000 American in uh, Transformers and they got scammed. So they got a couple of issues, what's going on that. I'm just going to basically look at it from an Australian perspective, uh, what you can do if you're in that situation. Uh, Spoiler alert, not a lot. Um, but yeah, be quite curious to see what's going on. But anyway, well, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.